Street Science Theater, 3000 Show 510, real one. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at his Monic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. In the cheesy movies The worst we can find You'll have to sit and watch them all Then the monitor is mine Now keep in mind Joe can't control Where the movies begin or end Because he used those special parts To make his robot friends Robot will call Cabot Hi, girl. Tom Servo. Cool. 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 If you're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts, then repeat to yourself, it's just the show. I should breathe and just relax. For the mystery science theater, he thousand. Thank you, thank you, hot show. Hey, great to be here, great crowd tonight. Thank you. Let's hear it from my musical director, Servo Marcellus. Hi everybody, welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joel Robinson, and as you can see, the bots are putting on their own version of the Tonight Show. We're just in time for the monologue. So, what's going on in the news today? <laughs> Have you seen that panty raids are once against all the rage of colleges? <laughs> I didn't know so many members of Congress were going back to school. <laughs> <laughs> I see the new Sharon Stone movie is so steamy it has to be edited in order to get an R rating. They had to cut out all the scenes of Congress. <laughs> see, the new poll says the public objects to TV shows that are about sex. Hey, I like watching shows about Congress. <laughs> hey, good oh, you better knock it off. You could get sued for that, you know. Well, I'd hire a congressman to defend me, but they're all out having sex. <laughs> sex, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hey. So, uh, does this clip need any setup? <laughs> Who's, whose job is it to set up Congress? <laughs> We're done with that game. Congress. Uh, 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 Wilbur Mills uh, and Fanny Fox are called. They had sex. Sure. What would you say if I told you I've invented a low-cost, low-maintenance household device that could easily last for a decade or more? <laughs> say hello to Frank's heart. You've invented Frank's heart? <laughs> no, silly boy, I've, I've harnessed Frank's heart. <laughs> I was uh, cleaning the snakes out of the pantry yesterday when suddenly it hit me. Nothing works harder than the human heart, especially when it's clogged with cholesterol. Uh, now, Frank's heart was a mess, and it's getting worse all the time. Rest was easy. Frank eats, I surgically attach a generator to his heart, and voila, the cholester do all. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, here you go, Frank. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, and I've got to whip you up some eggs, Frank, and your turban's slowing down, so eat some of that pie, will you? Uh, you see, it's simple and efficient, and uh, I can run a blender. And uh, a toothbrush, and a room fan, and a radio, and a garage door opener, and an art welder. <laughs> well, at some point this will kill Frank, but I think it's worth it. <laughs> an EKG, does this work great? <laughs> Frank, eat! Joel? Oh, sure, that's Great, Dr. F, for you. Uh, anyway, up here on the Satellite of Love, where life's generally bright and cheery, we've decided that backwards masking has gotten kind of a bad reputation. Hardly surprising, really. Right under our noses, thrash, metal bands, giving us all backwards messages to worship Satan and the like. <laughs> Sheesh! So we've come up with Backtalk. It's a backwards masking personal memo machine that helps you remember things subliminally. Right. But first of all, start with some nice, pleasant music. There now, isn't that nice? And simply tape your message to yourself backwards. Right, let's say I'm an executive and I want to leave a memo to myself. I'd leave a message like this. 
Takart nak tubluf tuubla nad kasa. Then Ask the next day about we'll write contract. <laughs> it's fun. It is. You can talk backwards. Try it, Tom. Artled pate oop reb memir. Remember to tape Delta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this will be invaluable for business persons, students, homemakers, teachers, cutlery salesmen, congressional aides, barbers, rubber novelty district representatives, gym teachers, that big guy. Uh, the crow. Th huh? that, that's plenty. What, what do you think, sirs? Keep going, Frank. I've still got a vacuum under the couch. Oh, good one, Frank. Joel, your movie today is called The Painted Hills. It's got Lassie, yes, the dog, starring as Shep, another dog. Oh, and there's a hygiene short that I was hoping Frank would see. Frank, I'd love to revive you, but how can I when I can't run the defibrillator? Frank? Doctor F is a butthead. <laughs> 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 That's great. Oh, is there going to be a test? What is... Uh, is it an infomercial? Where's Cher? <laughs> Body care and grooming. They're cops. <laughs> uh, you know, they should distribute this film in Seattle where the Grinch look is so popular. Oh, yeah. hmm. And based on the book, everything I ever needed to know, I learned at the beauty parlor. It was the cleanest of times, it was the dirtiest of times. Ah, spring. Filthy, shameful spring. When birds are on the wing. When flowers bloom. And so do young men. Ooh. This guy isn't a prayer. <laughs> a young Frank Sutton makes his move. Well. You know, people were whiter back then. Spring. Mm -hmm. When a young man's fancy lightly turns to... Underpants. <laughs> oh. What's the matter? Hmm? Exam week getting you down? Oh, leave me alone. What you need is to put down that notebook and take in some of the beauties of nature. Pick up a rifle. See what I mean? The Andrews sisters? No way. But wait a minute, young lady. How did you get into this picture? My agent booked me. You see, we're trying to prove a point about nature and beauty and you're not exactly helping, you know. Yeah, well, bite Look me. at your hair. I like your hair. Look at that blouse. I'm looking, I'm looking. And the way that skirt hangs. And those socks. Look at that sidewalk. Sorry, there must have been a mistake. You don't seem to be exactly the type to make this guy behave like a human being. You know, to make him grope you and paw at you. I'm late for my Hitler Youth meeting. But wait a minute. Let's start all over again. And find new ways to shame her. Oh, brother. The hell? Oh, brother is right. Look at that hair. That skin. That mouth. Those nose. And now look at that blouse. We just took your libido and starched and, and pressed now it. Now look at the skirt. And the socks. Thanks a lot for helping us prove a point. Now be gone. And you. You too know the value of a good appearance. Uh, excuse me, I couldn't help but notice how much you look like everyone else. <laughs> Tackling her from behind is the first step. Ten years later. This marriage is suffocating me! In fact, you all know that a good appearance is a must. Not only to your college life now. Sorry but to your business and professional lives here. <laughs> but good appearance is more than dressing up like a fashion plate. It's looking like Bruno Hopman. Anyone will make a good appearance if, no matter what his style of clothing. Even Larry Hogan. Clothes are important. <laughs> Besides fitting well and looking well, the clothes should be appropriate to the occasion. <laughs>
Wearing inappropriate clothes, like these shoes, is immoral. Is a sure way to make yourself uncomfortable and conspicuous. Expressing individualism is just plain wrong. But good grooming is more than clothes deep. It's being snowy white. Good grooming starts with personal care. It starts with the soul. This principally means the care of your hands, your hair, your teeth, mm -hmm. and your skin. And your naughty bits. Yes. Let's begin with the skin. By taking a look at it from the doctor's oh, point yeah. of view. Oh, you got a big blackhead right here. You'll find that skin is a complex living tissue whose proper care requires a basic understanding of what it is and what it does. But doctor, I twisted my ankle. In this highly magnified section through the skin, hmm. we see that skin is made up of various layers. You see the path of the motorcade was diverted Individual cells through. of the outer layer are constantly drying out and dropping Whoopee! off. Whee! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Catch me! In different ah, thickness and texture on various parts of the body, <laughs> such as on the lips, <laughs> the eyelid, the carnival of souls here, or the feet. <laughs> Perhaps the most familiar example of skin specialization is on your fingertips. Hmm. Here the skin is grooved to help you hold smooth objects. Out from the inkwell comes Coco the Almost clown. Almost all skin is richly provided with nerves, which give the skin an amazing sensitivity to outside stimuli. Hence the skin acts as a sensory organ for the protection of the body as a whole. There, that'll keep the devil out. And skin serves to protect you still another way, by providing one of the first physical signs of illness or disease. That's an Indian rub, all right. You got a little sister. Most skin also contains hair. The hair roots are located below the skin surface. Wait a minute, the hair has a liver and a spleen? Hairs are found in association with the sebaceous or oil glands. Well, there's oil in them there, skins. <laughs> These oil glands often empty directly into the hair follicle or opening by means of which the oil reaches the skin surface. The purpose of this oil is to soften and lubricate the hair and skin. Hey, you can't say lubricate. Another gland found in the skin is the sweat gland. Right. Sweat glands open directly into the skin and discharge sweat through individual openings or pores. <laughs> Sweating is one of the chief functions of the skin. The main value of sweating is the control of body heat Thank you. brought about by the evaporation of sweat from the skin surface. I am Moisty, the national spokesman for sweat. Most everyone sweats under one circumstance or another. <laughs> Besides accumulating sweat, the skin is also constantly picking up dirt, dust, grit, and other foreign particles. Skin sucks. And because the skin has lots of openings in its surface, Ooh. these foreign particles, most of them loaded with bacteria, <gasps> may enter the skin and start an infection. On Lyle love it. Such an infection, if untreated or irritated, could develop into a widespread inflammation or even blood poisoning. Don't let this happen to you. Don't change a tire with your face. Mm -hmm. Protect your skin. Keep it looking clear and fresh. Keep it clean. Pickle it, varnish it, soak it in vinegar. The best way to clean your skin is still the old-fashioned use of soap, hot water, and plenty of elbow grease. Mm -hmm's in the gutter, your love's in the And the sink. result is well worth the effort. You don't need scientific proof of it. You can feel it. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. In addition to soap and water, there are other good aids for cleaning your skin. One of these is cleansing cream. One of these is nitric acid. Choose wisely. Many girls find this helpful in removing cosmetics. Many are just plain wrong. However, nothing can take the place of your daily bath or shower. Mm. You should never disrobe, even in the shower. Mm -mm. I'm so nutty. Yeah. Nutty I am. This is the time to give your skin a good invigorating workout. <laughs> if there is no visible dirt to wash off, there are body odors to be eliminated by cleansing your skin of dried sweat, skin scales, and dust, which oh. accumulate constantly. Well, we just use that on the bowl, dear. Oh, oh, never mind. Your bath or shower should end with a brisk rinsing to carry away all soapy residue. This is really the best part of the shower. It stimulates the skin and wakes it up all over. Now get out. You've wasted enough water. Get out. Bathing and toilet articles 
should be kept for your own personal use. Grooming is between you and the Lord God. Don't share them with others. Don't trust people, they'll only hurt you. You wouldn't use another person's toothbrush, so don't use their towel or toilet articles. Live a lonely, sheltered life. Plotting, scheming. And it goes without saying that only clean lingerie should go next to that clean skin. Oh, yes, say that again. <laughs> While it may not be necessary for all of you, it's fine. some girls use a lubricating cream or lotion to prevent skin roughness or chapping. Expensive creams and powders, however, aren't necessary. Could you get out of my room, A please? healthy skin can be kept attractive with only a few simple preparations. <clears throat> and so, the end of a perfect day. An entire day spent grooming. <clears throat> a few minutes in the morning and evening, and occasional checkups during the day, are all you need to establish and keep up good grooming habits. Thus ends a day in the life of even Denisovich. And you, Jezebel, by following these simple rules of body care and grooming, you too will have that quality of appearance, that feeling of well-being, so important to make your dreams of happiness come true. And remember, when you touch yourself, the saints cry. Good night. Keep watching the medicine cabinets. Keep watching the medicine cabinets. You are next. Oh, let's not forget these guys. Sounds like it's going to be an epic. I'm the best music. Oh, is Lassie going to teach us good grooming techniques too? Alive. My side of the mountain. The Iger Sage. Who of us will ever know? Me. What is in the heart of a dog? Heartworms. This is the story of a great love. The greatest love of all. The love of a dog for one man. It won't work. Mm -hmm. A love that was to prove even stronger than life itself. They're married now and live in these hills. She ran calling wild fire. a deep voice for a dog. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. Lassie won't let the director photograph her other side, you know. Would you shut up? I'm posing here. <laughs> Snossages! Snossages! <laughs> Pretty. Hmm? There's trouble on the McKenna's gold set. <sighs> What? You knuckle knobs, jeez. Hey, Grandpa did fall down the well. <laughs> what do you know? Hey, hey, never mind eating me. Oh. Just get me out of here. Start digging. <laughs> yeah. Go on. What? That's How's that, Mr. Digging. Weatherwax? Atta, girl. Keep on flying. Oh, no, hey. nope, that's my groin, honey. Don't hey, dig so deep. The other way. The other way. The other way, Chef. No. No. Okay. No, no, hey. Chef. Dig. Keep digging. That million dollar dirt. We've hit it this time, Shep. We've hit it sure. No. Keep going. I forgot to peer the shaft up. I'm darn near being the richest corpse in the territory. He had <laughs> sand on his lap and he needed help. <laughs> Come on, girl. We're heading for town. Just wait till you see Frank Blake's eyes when we tell him he's a millionaire. You're welcome. Oh, careful, there's a speed trap here. Thanks for the treaty, mister. Thanks for the continent. This was a time when Denver piles roamed the land freely. Eggnog, make it a double. Well, Jonathan, how are you? Merry Christmas. Get your dog out of here. How about it? On the house. No. Well, how about you, Pup? Jim Beam oh. rocks. Can't call you a Pup anymore, can I, fella? Can't call her a fella, neither. He's neutered. Hey, that's right. <laughs> Excuse me, beautiful. She's looking well, right at his going, throat. Jonathan? Shipping me ain't complaining. Well, I am. Uh, Steve, has Frank been around tonight? Frank? Frank Blake? Be right back. I'll go see if Miss Kitty's here. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Hi, folks. Jonathan Harvey? Huh? What, what is... Oh. That's right. I'm Lynn Taylor. I love your work. Sorry we couldn't let you know, Jonathan. Martha.
they wanted to, but there was no way of finding in time. Time for what? Frank's death, John. Over a month ago, pneumonia. Frank. Hmm. Frank. Hmm. Frank. Frank. Tommy worries me, Jonathan. Tommy? Who's Tommy? Do you know that he's never once cried? Ah, just hit him with a class ring. If he could just let it out. We'll work it out, Martha. We'll find a way. But right now, what about this fella Taylor? Lynn's a fine man. He's been wonderful. Hmm? Why did Frank take him in as a partner? He had to. Lynn's buying in when he did kept us from losing everything. I see. Now, who's Lynn? Does that make him a partner of grub steak right? Yes, why? Jonathan, you've made a strike. I got something to show you. No! No! Oh, it's okay. It's the feds! Now, is this the real Old West or the Roy Rogers Old Lynn. West where they had electricity and cars? Lynn. Jonathan's inside. I'm so glad you're here. Jonathan has something to show us. He's the world's largest elf. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. A piece of key lime pie. I found hmm. a vein of that. If it's deep enough, it could be the biggest strike this territory has ever seen. That's why we've got to file a claim, and quick. File before it's proved? If you file now, and word gets out that, that you guy? struck war like this, and every claim jump in the territory will be in those hills in a week. Before you're sure yourself that you've hit the main vein. By gad, you're right. <laughs> 30 years of mud scrabbling, and when I do find the glory dust, I go off half cocked. But enough vernacular. Mr. Taylor? I love you. Martha's right about you. You're right. And right now, you can start working at being a partner by lining me up some supplies. Of course, John. Anything you need. I'll meet you in the store in a half hour. Yeah, I'll live to serve you. Night, what did he stop by for? Hmm. It's all right with you, Martha. I'd like to know who that guy oh, was. Right with Tommy. All right, Jonathan. If there's anything you can do. Shame him, humiliate him, whatever you think is best. Ah, I'm gonna snap this kid's wheel like an old pretzel. Come on now, cry, cry! Tommy. Can you hear me? Can you feel me near you? What's Rutherford B. Hayes doing in this movie? Tommy. Hey, Jonathan. Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan. Why do you have to die? Oh, uh, you must have done something wrong, Tommy. I want my paw, Jonathan. I want paw. You know, his head just doesn't have the structural support for that hair. Mm -hmm. Some things we can't answer, Tommy. Gut check time, Tommy. The Lord's got his way of doing things we just can't answer. But, Jonathan, isn't predetermination based on an egocentric conception of a... I didn't want to cry. You go ahead and cry. Yeah, baby. Used to do it myself sometimes. Before my tears all dried up on me. Not like this. Now, how about Shep here? Those hills up there. That's no place for a dog. Hi, star of the film here. Not Shep. It is. No, not too lonesome. She likes folks around. Fact is, she just plain ain't happy up there. You guys talking about me? Uh, as for me. Well, I'm better off alone. That's for sure. Lots of times, the dog is nothing but a darn bother to me. Oh, must you air our dirty Why laundry? Shep? Oh, yeah, oh, Shep. Now, go on, go on now. You, you get away. Now, come on, get away. Uh, sorry, Tommy. Now, what I'm sand washing up to with all this is... Can you take over her payments? How about taking her off my hands? Well, that's a great replacement for it, my father. Will you? You're no liar, Jonathan. Hmm? I can't take Shep from you. He's your dog. Nobody else is till she dies. Thanks anyway. And look, don't tell anybody I balled. Sure, you little wuss. Honest to Christmas. Hey, everybody. Tommy's in there crying like a little girl. <laughs> we didn't do so good. Well, look, I really got to go outside. All right, it's Christmas. And giving is part of Christmas. Sausages. Anyway, you are a father to me. I'll be quiet. Don't look at me that way. Tonight on The Advocates, our debate will be about the woman from today's short. Tom Servo and Protein Robot 
will argue over whether she is more attractive, sloppy, yes. or clean. clean. Representing sloppy will be crow. Yes. <clears throat> Representing clean will be servo. Thank you. Yeah. I will be your moderator. The outcome will be decided by Joel Robinson. I now turn the floor over to Crow. Uh, thank you, Gypsy. <clears throat> I like her sloppy. While her well-groomed, in other words, square, classmates were listening to Pat Boone and Patty Page, she was at the local jazz club grooving to Miles Monk and Coltrane. While her classmates were struggling to make it through an issue of Reader's Digest, she was the only woman on campus who could freely quote Henry Miller. She may be sloppy, but she fits neatly into my idea of paradise. Thank you. Thank you. Tom Servo. <clears throat> Thank you, Gypsy. <clears throat> I like her clean, because it just shows that she wants to change the system from within. Sure, she's a seething cauldron of passion, but she wears clean underpants, and she knows where her shirt is in the morning. Call her what you will, a Scoop Jackson Democrat or a Jacob Javits Republican. Either way, she's the stuff that dreams are made of. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Thank you. And now Joel Robinson will render his verdict. Joel? Well, thank you, Gypsy. Uh, both of these issues are complex, and there are no easy answers, but Crow's right. <laughs> I'm right, I'm right. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, Joel. Now, the whole subject of cleanliness and grooming is very important to me, and I know a much more effective way to resolve this issue. Well, uh, how's that? A spitting contest. <laughs> oh, 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 hey. Don't even say it. But I wanted a super soaker. Oh, gee. That Jonathan. Well, that son of a... Merry Christmas, Tommy. Merry Christmas, Ma. Look. Yes, dear, I know. He's got mange, distemper, and lots of ticks. Dear Tommy, I put it up to Shep. She agreed with me. She's yours. Merry Christmas from Jonathan. Where is Jonathan? He's dead. I'll open your other He's gifts. Gone. gone? Is it all right, Ma? Can I really keep her? That's what he wanted, Tommy. Thanks, lady. You were my last hope. Oh, man. Shouldn't have eaten all those socks. Divorced. Harassed by creditors. Come on, pretend that you like me, girl. <laughs> oh man, I shouldn't have eaten all those socks. Heathcliff! Heathcliff! No one escapes from Stalag 30. Chef! Chef? Come on, it's dress up time. Tonight's your Marlena Dietrich. You're drunk, aren't you, bad dog? What's the matter with you, Chef? I'm tired, okay? Ma! Ma, something's wrong with Chef! Well, they shave Shep, and that's all that's What's left. What's wrong with you, Mr. Bald Eagle? Please, it's bald. Huh? He's a dog, Shep, not it because she want to go home. To Jonathan? I gave you the best years of my life. Ayazolo, Vimlus, Pusyaka, Hilu, Nanit, Jonathan. He say dogs starve till die, if not go Jonathan. Must drag Thanks, butt Mr. across Baldwin. driveway. Well, Thanks. she can get dressed Mom, now. See. Goodbye, Red Wing. Bahayak. Ma, we've got to get her to Jonathan. Please, Sam, take her. Please, Ma. Maud? I don't know, dear. Oh, hi. How could you ever find him? Shep could. She knows where the claim is. I'll write her there. But you still couldn't go alone. I'll take you, Martha. Be glad to. He's hot for the widow, Martha. thanks, Mr. Taylor. Hot? You hear that, Shep? We're going to take you back to Jonathan. Now you've got to eat and get strong for the trip. Look, I've got a lot of other things on my mind. Here, take some. You've got to. Come on, it's milk of human kindness, 2%. Not mine, but I let him live with me. <laughs> Ma, look! She's eating! She's gonna be all right! Now look, if you keep this down, you can have some soda crackers and watch that girl. The biggest sky you ever saw was in Seattle. <laughs> 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 
He only lived a couple of blocks away. Well, it's not exactly the incredible journey, is it? Chef, what is it? It's a cabin, you little turd. Jonathan? Yeah, Tommy. Jonathan, what's wrong? Hey, that. Hit me a week ago. Matt sure let up the room. The worst is past. Quick, get him a bowl of milk. So weak, I couldn't get food any longer. That's what was wrong with Chef. She knew. She wouldn't eat. She made us bring her here. Well, you're reaching, Tommy. Ma's right, Jonathan. Chef's your dog, and nobody else's. So I'm giving her back to you. Right now. Never mind the dog, Tommy. Here's the sex pistols. Tommy, you rustle up some wood. I'll see about the food. Well, we work the scam again. We get another free meal. I'm all right, girl. I just got into a bad deer carcass. Thanks. Taylor? Best you should so. wonder how our partnership's been going. You were right. I'd have been a fool to file that claim. Vain petered out in a week. Yeah, that's great. You got any Mrs. Dash? So I just kept working upstream. Working? Safer stuff. Hardly worth a man's time. How's the dinty more? I'll show you. Tommy, go on over there by the shelf. Grab the teapot and come after I me. I'll slide that chest out. The board underneath will lift up. Get my magazines out. Take them out. Uh, then you go in there and shut the top. Is there a point to this? Look inside, Tommy. Do it! What are you going to do with all this bisquick? How much is here, Jonathan? Oh, not much. Only around about six thousand. Six thousand dollars? No, drachmas. more to come. Six thousand. That bass boat I've been you looking at. You that's just from gravel? You still haven't found the main vein? No, but it's up there. I aim to just work upstream until I find it. And I will, as sure as your name's Lynn Taylor. My name's Tom Wopat. Jonathan, do you realize what this means? It means we're rich. All of us. Sure we are, but that's not what I'm talking about. You need help. Now look, I'm starting back to town tomorrow. I'll take this gold and deposit it in all our names. It'll be safe there. And I'll be back. Why, with proper equipment, we can take that gold out ten times as fast. Sit down and eat your stew. All my life, I've waited for something like this. Mm. And I'm not taking any chance on losing it now. Grated cheese. Mount Rushmore! Before it was built. <laughs> oh, I just love these new age type uh, nature tapes. They're so relaxing. And a rapid runs through it. We'll run the inlet channel across there and build a sluice box below the rapid. I love movies where they slowly assemble the plot like this. Uh, what did we build again, Steve? Let her go, Tommy. Well, look, Shep is Tommy's supervisor. <laughs> We invented the first water flume. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. See one day's take from this baby, Taylor. Just wait. <laughs> How long do I have to wait? First thing I'm going to do is buy me a montage. Ooh, yeah. Best bites. Snossages. What is it we're doing again? Kenny Rogers is Moses. Industry. Any sausages in there? Come on, work! Rutherford B. Hayes strikes it rich. You! Sample. I feel damp all over. It's fun! The world is dying. What? What? Well, looks like the montage finally blew over. Hey, it's Juan Valdez. Wait, but someone else. Well, the Denver Pie look was very popular this year. They're being ransacked by Tom Bombadil. <laughs> finally, sweet Metamucil. Where's the pretty under things? <laughs> Okay, watch your button that saddlebag. Soldier Neatson. For days you've been watching us. But you didn't fool me. I knew you were out there. You heard what I said. Move! Come on, Kringle. Go on. 
go get what you put in there. Taylor, what's going on here? You keep out of this, Jonathan. I know what I'm doing. Don't shoot my doppelganger. Well, you get it or don't you? You crazy fool, I ought to lay you low. Make him show you what he put in that saddlebag. I took something from there for this house. He's lying. Look for yourself. No, Taylor. You look. No, you look. No, you look. You first. He's Gideon. Huh. Missouri Synod, huh? But he was inside searching around, snooping. For food. I would have prepared the table in the presence of my friends. Oh, you're so holy. Oh, my mistake. This is Pilot Pete Taylor. Pile on You've been Pete? you these hills, you'd never have made that mistake. <laughs> Don't make it again. Come on, Pete. Pile on. Let's see about that supper. You a regular parson, Mr. Pete? Regular? Ooh. No, son. Reckon I'm as irregular as it comes. Yeah. Gotta have roots to be a regular parson. I'm a heretic. Hey, I ain't got the roots of a tumbleweed. <laughs> Two things I love above all else. Larry and Balky. The mountains and the Lord's sinners. So I spend my time in one looking for the other. And I sure find him. <laughs> I'm a lawn gnome in the summertime. What? Here's I'm right here. You better leave Shep alone. She never makes up to strangers. She don't? Here, here, lady. Here, lady. <laughs> well, you got it wrong, Brother Taylor. Thou <laughs> sawest the beast that was and is not. Revelation 17, 8. Well, there's plenty of love in this dog for them that loves her. Ain't the Shep. Or maybe she just likes my stew. Book of me, <laughs> chapter 4, verse 12. <laughs> Pete? Give me my under things back. This is from all of us. It's a carrot. Well, in his name, I thank you. Jonathan, Tommy, Mr. Taylor, and you too, Lady Fair. Name Shep, remember it. The Lord be with you in all your labors. And, and also with you. Lay not up for yourselves treasures on earth. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. In an interest-bearing CD. Matthew 6, 19. Got the half. <laughs> Little preacher joke. Well, I'm off to the King Lear convention. Get up, Gabriel. So this guy comes in, stops the plot cold, and leaves. Yep. Goodbye, Pete. <laughs> Goodbye. Work for the night is coming. Look for the union labor when the morning. morning. All right, new rule. No crusty old evangelists. While the do is clean. Tommy, you go down to work. Whoop. I'll be alone. Do you mind explaining yourself, please? Well, <laughs> you gave him dust. That's a dead giveaway we struck pay dirt. The old fool talks. He won't. I've seen to that. He knows the law of these hills, too. And he lives by it. You could try doing the same. Yeah, try piling on Until once. you do, I'm taking that gun. I keep my own gun. You're edgy, Taylor. I'm getting worse every time more gold goes under that floor. It ain't just being scared someone will steal it, neither. It's having to split it with Martha and me. You're Martha? crazy. Only a quarter, you keep thinking to yourself. I only get a quarter of it. And Jonathan gets half. That keeps eating at you, Taylor. I've been watching you and I know. That's why I'm taking that gun. Let's not fight in front of the collie. No, you won't do that. There's two reasons why you won't shoot me, Taylor. Three! The first, you won't find that vein without me. And the other... The other is just a hunch. That you haven't got the guts. And the third? I oh, I forgot where I was. Ha! Uh -huh. Would this be a bad time to bring up snossages? I was born in the house my father built. Oh, man, I'm turning into Victor French. It's known should we be walking. A lot of closet space in this cabin, huh? Hey, his pajamas are just like his clothes. <laughs> his boots are so Oh, the violins are urging him on. A testing. Well, he's got childbearing hips. Jonathan, Jonathan, can I get a glass of water? Oh, oh yes. I just have to touch that hair. <laughs> oh, soft. 
He's gonna kipe his copy of the firm. No, no, cut, cut, no, Lassie, it's more of a... I said, put it back! Hmm, well, okay, stand up and walk over here, and sidle over to the door, open it up and run! Walks every time! <laughs> <laughs> now we rock. Good girl. Hey, my reward. Squeaky newspaper, games burger, sausage, anything, huh? Uh, he didn't see the good grooming short, did he? I don't think so. Look, Bigfoot putting on a blazer. Huh. And so the little fellow fled the vicious collar. Stallone in cliffhanger. Oh, he's got to be careful or he might fall right into that matte painting. Well, that's dangerous. Well, this is far enough. I guess I can go here. <laughs> guess that convenience store isn't so convenient. <laughs> uh, note to myself, next time go the way you know. Huh? Hey! hey. Right them. Oh man, is it tough to get to the fourth tee? Leon Trotsky in the action adventure you thought he'd never make. Well, back to the cabin. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I thought that was a matte painting. <laughs> Good thing I didn't fall. All right, about time for that nut goodie. <laughs> ow. Ow, 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 ow. Why am I doing this? This old mountain... Through the skull, thus bringing to a brutal end the passionate life of one Lev Davidovich Bronstein, Leon Trotsky. Thank you. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Gypsy, that was, that was terrific. Well, that was you, riveting. Guys, well, oh, hi, everybody. Welcome hi. to the Satellite of Love. We're just finishing up this week's term paper assignment, the mm -hmm. topic being famous figures in history that look like the cantankerous 49ers in today's film. I did one on Aristotle. Oh, excellent. Uh, Tom yeah. Servo did a hilarious send-up of the Smith Brothers. Should have been here. I did both parts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and fun. now that we're all done, it's time for Ovaltine and Popcorn. Oh, I just love Ovaltine. Hey, hey, what about me? Hey, what am I, burnt toast here? Oh, uh, uh, I'm <laughs> Sorry, uh, Crow. And now, Crow T. Robot. Uh, uh, put my study aid up. Uh, uh, what? My study aid. It fell down. Put oh, that okay. Up. All right. Oh, and uh, Cambot, cue that music, please. <clears throat> Rutherford B. Hayes. <clears throat> Rutherford B. Hayes was born humbly to his own son, Rutherford B. Hayes Jr., in Delaware, while it was still Ohio, sometime after the French Revolution. Huh. Rejecting a career as a professional speller, he was admitted to the bar in 1845, though he did not drink lustfully from it. Uh -huh. Serving heroically in the Civil War, Hayes admitted later that it was in the Army he first tasted human flesh. Oh, wow. In 1876, Hayes beat Bill Tilden in a three-set quarterfinal at Flushing Meadows, which caused the Electrical College to declare him President of the United States. Uh, Crow, you just kind of threw this together, didn't you? Please, Joel, I'm quoting from the World Book, Chapter H. Huh. <clears throat> Here are a few of the highlights of the administration of Rutherford B. Hayes. In 1877, Reconstruction ended, and Jacques Derrida was named Secretary of Linguistics, and the era of deconstruction began and continues to this day. I just don't think that... Thomas that... Edison invented the pornograph, beginning the age of pornography. President Hayes then passed the Hayes Act, started the Hayes Office, won fame as an American lyric tenor, and was named Archbishop of New York in 1919. I think he's lying. No, I'm not. <clears throat> After he retired, he founded the original ZZ Top with James Garfield oh, yeah. and Chester Allen Arthur. Uh -huh. Shocked the world with a publicity stunt when, on a bet, he made a tent out of the underwear of William oh, Howard Taft what? and lived inside for a full year. Well, yeah. he did. And in later years, Hayes retired from the stage and did a series of memorable character parts in Hollywood. Uh -huh. Who can forget the time he was slapped by Jacqueline Bissett in the 1971 Universal movie Airport? <laughs> and then, after inventing Ringworm, Hayes died. 
His last words were, I have only one life to live. Let me live it as a blonde. The end. Oh, and his blood type was AB. The end. Sad what the mind can do, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to have to hold you back here, Crow. Cool. Can I have my same desk? No! No! Hey. <laughs> Watch it. Rutherford <laughs> Hayes on the room. I'll bring it right away. It's a description of the claim made out in all our names hers, Taylor's, and mine. Is there anything wrong, Jonathan? No, oh, this is just in case someone gets the bright idea of filing only in their own name. Oh, Mr. Taylor. But remember, whatever happens, not a word to anyone about my doubt. Even your mom. Promise? Now come on. I tell it. Hurry up. Yeah, and if you run into pylon Pete, don't look at him. Tell your mom not to worry. I will. Bye, Jonathan. Oh, oh and bring me back some OJ in a Cosmo magazine. Chef? Where are you? Chef, what is this? The eight and gold. You know, between us, we gotta take care of that boy. He don't know these trails like we do. Oh, it ain't for good this time. You're coming back. Now go on, get. <laughs> yes, Master, I'm your total slave. Here goes one stupid dog. <laughs> Jonathan. Jonathan. Set a trap for you and... Where are they oh. going? <laughs> I sent Tommy home. The kid's getting lonesome for his mom. What's all the excitement? Jonathan, that thing we've been looking for. If it was up there, what would it look like? Well, uh... No, I'll tell you. The sheer face of the cliff. White quartz, the whitest you ever saw. And in it, jagged like lightning, a vein of pure gold. Gold, Jonathan, that white. It's up there, so help me, I found it. It's up there waiting for us. Where? At the head of the canyon, way up. Well, it's, it's where I'm gonna kill you. Ooh. I can never keep a secret. How do you work this crazy thing? Come on, how stupid are you feeling today? The British are coming! What? Get away from me, dog! British are coming! The, you just get away! The... It's the Von Trapp family prospectors. Hi, Jeff! Go on, Wait a minute! What? I'm a dog! I can't process this much information at once! Look, I'm a hundred years old. Where is this thing? You're sure right about the mountain goats. Yeah, you yeah. said it. Now, let's see if these two sequences relate to each other. Go ahead. Make my day. Ooh, your hand's really soft. <laughs> Come on, I need to use the bathroom! Is this the right place? <laughs> no, he didn't make my bed. Typical. <laughs> I know there's a shuttle bus that goes here. Don't. Gotta get that stupid bathroom key. <laughs> Man, he's really making him work for his death. <laughs> it's a ledge just beyond. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, over here. This is where I put the loose rock for you to step on. Yes. Yes, 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 uh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I failed oh. to take into account that he only weighs 63 pounds. Well, where is it? Oh, son of a gun. You know what? It's, it's back, back away. away. <laughs> back the other way. Obsession. Taylor! So, how much further? I have it the gut. Remember, Jonathan? Oh, throw that in my face. Yeah! Well, how am I going to explain this in just barks? Uh, now, what? 
Oh, poopy. Where did I put that rock? Oh, boy. Oh, oh. <laughs> hi, you. Bet you're wondering what I'm doing up here. <laughs> Hello, Shep. This is where Shep's mastery of the stiletto comes in handy. Look, I don't even want to talk to you. Here, Shep, come here! A lifetime of snossages or I sing like a canary. What's the matter with you? Uh, Mr. Weatherwax, what's the matter with me here? I don't know. Do you? My trainer says I'm not allowed to talk to you. I don't think his testimony will hold up in court. in a wheelchair and I'm going to have to push him around. Oh, jeez. He looks like Pylon Pete Stew. It's like Batman in reverse. Mm -hmm. Thank you, citizen. <laughs> Great. First thing I got to dig him out of the dirt and slides down a dang mountain. Ah, forget it. Time to get a new master. Humans. Like I always say, a dog's got to know her limitations. <sighs> now, lunch! Tyrone Power has a sleepless night. Uh, no, 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 Pylon, no, please. Oh. It's payback time. Bacon and sausage omelet? What the? That's where Jonathan's butt used to be. Hello, Shep. You can't talk to me. I saw what you did. <laughs> where have you been all day? Looking for Jonathan? I caught a matinee of oh heavenly dog. I'm afraid he won't be back, Shep. That doesn't mean you and I can't be friends. How about it? Well, just let me work through my grief right now. Better be my way, Shep. Or the highway. I will not have anything happen to you. Might make things harder for me to explain. No, no, no. Don't talk to me. Stay on your side of the room. Oh, look, look, if you don't... Look, I'm talking to a colleague. Jeez, I am freaking out. My cash card, my keys, Lassie. You, uh, you've seen my wallet. Oh, that'll help since there's no glass in the window. I'm walking out this door, Lassie, and I'm never coming back. I hate my roommate so bad. I hear you, man. Oh, fellow. <laughs> I left the iron on. Wait a minute. I'm in Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. <laughs> oh, Shep. I'll have to clean that up later. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see this. Get away from there! Get away, I tell you! No! Hey, I'm a dog. Come I on. Get away from there. I'm saying her. Yeah, well, you get what he got. Rave on, sister. All right, woman. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you can have the body, but I get the gold. I don't feel like fetching. Looks like he buried the old guy in his hat separately. <laughs> <laughs> Lombada, the forbidden dance. <laughs> Snossages. <laughs> Seven o'clock already? Great, now a series of very painful rabies shots. Oh, Lassie, come out and play, eh? I'd love to watch him squirm. <laughs> Poor dope, he walked right past me. <clears throat> I miss Lassie. Ah. <clears throat> uh... I gotta get that dog her own key. Hello? Um, hi, I'm 
come from Peter? Uh, you're probably mad. Look, I was drunk last night. I'm sorry. Hungry, huh? I figured I'd bring you around. And I got something all ready for you. Mm -hmm. uh, gonna be a snossage, right? Oh, please let it be a snossage. Oh, I put up a lot of poison last year, but now we're just down to the one jar. It's a deadly game of cat and mouse, only with a d dog and a man. You know, the 1800s were a golden age of gravy. Uh, here, hope you like refritos. Oh, no, I had poison last night. Hey, that's good poison. Not hungry enough yet, huh? You will be. I believe I ordered a Greek salad. Huh? Can I just have a rye crisp, please? Little does he know, Lassie switched food. He's eating Calcan. <laughs> you know, Lassie's not really that hungry. She just dug up Jonathan and well. Oh. Uh, hmm. That's an odd taste. Hmm. Oh, I can't stay mad at you. Is what you want? That's the way it is, huh? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so vlucky. <laughs> Puppy chow for a full year till he's full dead. Oh, no. Get the Ipecac. Eat it. Now get out of here. Get out. And remember, you asked for it. Go to die, die outside now. Come on. Yeah, I thought so. I get better service at Planet Hollywood. He's not gonna die, is he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just tell us old Lassie dead. Dead, 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 dead in the doornail. Yep. Oh, this is where Lassie gets the inspiration for her poetry. Why do I feel stupid? It's more my pride that hurts. Come on, it's gut check time, Lassie. Find it, find it. Oh, there she is, 200 yards. You can make it with iron sights, but you'd want to use a scope, Crow. <laughs> hey. Jeez, a river runs through it, and Greek fruit runs through me, I tell you. Oh. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. If I could just burp, I'd feel better. Oh, she's a goner. <laughs> Probably having hallucinations right now, a little wagon coming out of the kitchen cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> yep, two paws in the grave. Hey, stop it! I'm just being a realist, Crow. This exercise will give your dog buns of steel. What is this, Camille? Crawl, come on, you've never given up on anything in your life, crawl! I'm coming, Elizabeth! I'm coming to join you! drink near the horses personally. You know, my now that little puppy's dead too. Oh god. Boy, is she milking this thing. <laughs> oh, don't you chew the scenery, don't you drop it, drop it. They am dying over here. Lassie, does that really help? When she's dying, she's gonna take as many ants with her as possible. <laughs> He's in trouble. Well, I've stood in your shadow long enough. Unless he's been drinking again. You know, they're probably dead, too, in oh. fact. Sorry. <laughs> he's helping. He's pumping her stomach. I need bicarb and a hot needle, you stat. Come on. Well, now he's massaging her heart. Yeah, yeah that's Indian, all right. Oh, gibberish. I can hear the ocean roar. Yeah, like this text says he's allergic to penicillin. Oh yeah, nice heft. This hide should bring in ten bucks in town. 
Natalie Wood. Now, these are scenes we didn't see in The Searchers. Old eagle in town. Find quick. Maybe it's a safe. tribe of Pippi Longstockings. <laughs> Sobbing women, them sobbing, sobbing women. Huh? All his woodland friends are coming to help him. Hi, hey, what's going on? Oh, I saw a march down at the post office. It's back in it. Oh, Coco, Is that Russell Means? <laughs> Good heavens, boy, you're right! Oh no, poison souvlaki. Okay. Yeah, go get Jeff Chandler and Joy Bishop. Oh my god, a bill for this! Wait a minute! This'll help, a feather in a dilly bar. Oh wait, I was doing a bar mitzvah. Sorry kid, doesn't sound good. Mm. Well, she will make an attractive rug. Hey! Oh, sorry. Please, Mr. Bald Eagle. Isn't there anything else you can do? Well, I can do impressions. <laughs> Well, this is cross-cultural, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> are, are those sausages over there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Bald Eagle, you're wonderful. Thanks, Marty. Mama Clack will go by my house with Lily Akadosh. That's outrageous. I want to see an itemized bill. He's doing well. Oh, yeah, his teepee's really nice. I can't tell you how stupid I feel about the whole poison thing, Tommy. Don't you worry, Shep. Okay. I'm gonna find out about that poison. Nothing's gonna stop me till I do. This is God. Stop. Oh, I just can't get this darn novel started. Weather hole. Yeah, it sounds like a Ken Nardine dream. One good storm could start a slide that would cover the gold forever. The old man never said that. And you can't flash back to something that never happened. It's not fair. Ah, the car's rolling. Is that me? Am I making that sound? Boy, Dutch Elm can strike quick. Hmm. Oh, God. Don't see that every day. Well, back to the book. Vandalism. Dang kids drink cheap wine, listen to anthrax. Look at this. Ah, nice. mm. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you so bloody much. Hey, divinity. Oh, oh. That's the lesson, Joel. Crime does pay. No, that's not the lesson. Nope, the damage is done. It's in my memory banks. Crime pays. Zip lock. Oh, look at that dog on Ridge. Hey. <laughs> Shep's back, and this time it's personal. Shep! Come here! Shep, you gotta write to Mr. Eagle a thank you note. The old guy's still alive because he had a straw with him to breathe with. Or he's a hellish zombie. These bags are full of snossages. Lassie! Yeah, it's easier than balancing your checkbook, believe me. Oh, I'm a bad boy. Man, Taylor is almost wolfmanish. Mm. Yeah, he gave himself a lilt home perm. <laughs> Stay off the moors! Don't 
kid yourself. I'm looking for a man with true grit. Bottom of the fifth, and Lassie paces the mound nervously. Oh, that's it. This dog is dumb as a post. Yeah, puppy. Come here, puppy. Miss puppy. What the? Hey. If he shoots the kid, all bets are off. We're gonna trash the theater. Yep, I'm bringing home the baby. Oh. Jonathan. Tommy, what are you doing here? What a mess! What have you been doing here? Where's Jonathan? Gone. He he's been gone for three days. Where? I don't know. Over towards Blue Mountain somewhere. He, uh, over to the Meg Mall. Pick us up a deer for meat through the winter. Camp Snoopy. I heard his whistle. You couldn't have. Shep must have too. She was barking. Where did you see Shep? Indian kids found her. She was almost dead. I didn't do it. And poison. But she's all right now? Yeah, but I knew Jonathan would want to know, so I brought her back. Dang. I mean, good. Mr. Taylor, are you sure he's not here? I know I heard. I told you, Tommy's not here. Please, sir, may I have some more? Shep! Shep! Psst! Hey, stupid kid, Shep! I'm up here! Shep! she come in? I know she's out there. Let me tell you about the afterlife, Tommy. Don't worry about it, Tommy. You're tired and upset. Good night's sleep and you start home in the morning. Sit down now and rest. Tommy, you like refried poison? Beans, beans! Oh, boy. <laughs> I'll fix you some supper. <laughs> Sling peaches, button popped up, but that's okay. We're having beefaroni. Oh, one gram of poison per pound. Hey, how much do you weigh, kid? I, I'd better unsaddle my horse, Mr. Taylor. I'll be right back. I'd better think of a flimsy excuse to leave, Mr. Taylor. Ship, what is it? It's a grave. What is it, Ship? It's a grave. Do I have to draw you a picture? Look, here's you, me, this is the grave. Come on. Ooh, gross. Jonathan. Shep, you killed Jonathan. Life is pain, Tommy. Yeah, well, anyway, there's more evidence over here. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God, another grave. Lassie's got him buried everywhere. Shep, be quiet. Come on, your poison's getting cold. Hmm? Oh, Jonathan's dangerously skinny. Watch the prince, Tommy. Heck, Ramsey needs that hat. It is. It's Jonathan. It has his stench. Tommy? Can you hear me? Tommy? Can you hear me? Followed by a doughboy. <laughs> Dang, smoochers on my property. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Tommy, Tommy, is that you? <laughs> Tonight, Tommy goes behind enemy lines. <laughs> Joe! Servo went and melted me into a gold ingot! And it itches a little bit. Meets the new gold standard, Joel. <laughs> yes, our very own crow. Ha! 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 Tom, uh, no. crow is not gold. He's gold tone. I, I painted him gold. Yeah! Oh, you'd like me to believe that, wouldn't you, Mr. West? <laughs> yeah. <What am> <laughs> uh, you know, Tom, crow's basically uh, high-density Kevlar. That's it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Trying to head me off at the pass, eh, Joel? Put him up. 
Tom, listen. If you break Crow down into his essential elements, he's virtually worthless. Yeah. Hey. How stupid do you think I am, old man? Put him up. Listen, up here, snack items have more of value than Crow does. You'd be better off staking your claim to a box of bear witches, Tom, okay? The point is, Joel, he's gold and he's mine. <laughs> Together, I can rule the world! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm really worth a fortune. Uh -huh. uh, in fact, I want me. Wait a uh, yes, I'm mine. I'm mine, all mine. Come on, <laughs> dummy, it's time to extrude you. <laughs> Thank you for extruding mm -hmm. me. Sorry, yeah. Bill. Where'd you get it? Craig Way. Stefan, it's Jonathan. You lied. He isn't always dead. You killed him. He's right over there and you killed him. Shut up. You hear me? Shut up. No, I won't. You kill him and I'll tell, I'll tell everybody. Oh, how could you possibly tell everybody? You're wrong, Tommy. You're going to tell the Chinese? I'm going to tell anybody that. I'm going to tell them. Shut up, you. Help, Shep. Arf, Kiba. Thanks, Shep. I'm out of here. Good luck. Jim Colley! <laughs> Dog tossing tonight on a current affair. Yeah, it must have been lasting number 12 or so. When did they build a corral? They used corral drop. Oh, God. <laughs> this must be regional velvet. <laughs> Oh, you can't expect him to come back. What? Oh. Now, so when you're the bad guy, things just go your way. Is that the lesson, Joel? No. You little fool out of uh, Maybe I should see if you're alive, then I'll kill you. Either this boy's dead or his heart has stopped. Kid, you got a French horn in your chest. Hey, he can't be dead. He can't be. Kaput, fini. Uh-uh. I love my dead gay son. I I I I I I I Now when the West was very young. Hey look, he's doing a shadow thingy of Abe Lincoln. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, now wait, who who is that other shadow? Is that Peter Pan looking on? What a piece of work is man. Here, here's some poison for you. Come on now. Drink it. It's old Milwaukee. You're all right now. Here. Drink, Tommy. Tastes as great as it's drink. That's right. Taste it all. One awesome cow. That's fine, boy. First one's free, kid. Next one's on you. Yeah. Oh, and you were there, and you, and you, and... Get away from me! Leave me alone! Listen, son, you've got to listen to me. I'm trying to redeem myself. There's nothing to be afraid of. You're here, perfectly safe. And I brought you here. Just think, no school ever again. Now listen. You've been scared, Tommy. I know that. And it's my fault. Because I tried to kill that's, you. That's because I was scared, too. So scared that I... I almost lost my head. Here, look, I wet him now. Do you A man can be scared, too, Tommy. Even of a kid like you. Especially if the kid gets the wrong idea in his head. And you've got the wrong idea, son. Yeah. You lied. You utterly lied. You said he was hunting. Yes. Yes, I lied. You made me lie. Why? Because I knew you loved Jonathan Tommy. Almost as much as your own father. So I... Well, I didn't know how to tell you just like that. Am I soothing you, Tommy? Jonathan, his dead son. And I helped. He was working up in the canyon and he fell. After I pushed him. It was an accident. Shep told me to kill him. Two days ago, I found his body. And, and I laughed. <sighs> well, I, I buried it where you saw. Oh, I buried him, yeah. I was coming in tomorrow to tell you more. If you want any more facts, you'll have to speak to my lawyer. Shep. Shep doesn't like you, Tommy. She told me that. Where's Shep? All right. Shep's all right. I saw her outside a while ago. She's cool. Shep was like you, son. Bad. She got the wrong idea, too. Oh, yeah. So, let's, 
Let's both of us forget about what happened tonight, shall we? Bury it deep, real I... deep, Tommy. I guess so. Sure we will. Now you get some sleep, and you'll be fine in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Just sleep, son, and forget the unks whole you, thing. Unks you, unks you. Hello! Hey, there's a really loud French guy out there. Hello! Oh, no. Pile on Pete, pile on Jack, pile on Rudy. Tommy, wake up. The pylons are here. Good company, son. Don't, do don't forget what we talked about last night. About the accident to Jonathan. Better let me do all the explaining. All right? Hey, Jonathan! What's happening? Hi, Mr. Taylor. Uh, Mel Steiner and Carl Crane. They're with the DA. This runaway come into their camp over in Oak Flats last night, and I thought I remembered he was yours. They was breaking camp for winter anyway, so on the way into town, figured we'd cut across the ridge and fetch him back. Maybe pile on Why, you. hello there, Tommy boy. He's a Hi, murderer. Pete. Gee, I'm sure glad to see you. We both are, Pete. Mighty glad. And thanks for bringing the horse back. Sure. Where's Jonathan? Mm. It's a good thing you men came along. Mm. I'm inside. I'm afraid I got some bad news for you. Remember last week when he was alive? Well, that didn't last. And in thy heavenly kingdom, Lord, let him find peace. And let that him pile peace on. which passeth understanding. At least I don't get it. Let the gold he sought on earth be his in heaven. The pure and shining gold of thy holy grace. Now skip a bit, brother. We ask it, Lord. Very slowly. In his name. Amen. Now the jets will fly in the missing man formation. <laughs> Well, custom says we throw a handful of dirt, but I've got a wicked idea. <laughs> no, no, no. Come along, Tommy. Don't pile on me. Let's turn to a life of crime, Tommy. Come on, Chip. Thanks, Pete. And I'll count on you to explain everything in town. That I will. As long as you can take Tommy and the dog back for me, I'll probably stay on up here till spring. Right. For everyone's sake, I'd like to prove Jonathan was right. Yeah, I'll work You it. see, he was sure there was real pay dirt here. Rave so far, we've never found it. And Pete, do all you can to help Tommy, will you? Adults! You know, kids sometimes imagine all sorts of things, and Jonathan's accident hit the board pretty hard. So did I. I'm sure you understand. I do indeed, Mr. Taylor. Pete, he's lying. Don't believe him. Please don't believe him. It wasn't an accident. Jonathan didn't fall. He killed him. I know he did. Pete, he's lying. He's lying about everything. Tommy. Kids say the darndest things, eh? Or is hysterical. He hated Jonathan and he killed him. And last night when I found out he tried to kill me too. He's lying, Pete. Tommy, listen to me. Ooh. You say I wanted to kill you? Where did you sleep last night? Who picked you up when your horse threw you and carried you to the cabin? Why, Tommy, you slept six feet from me the whole night through, safe and well. I didn't even Does kill that sound you. like I wanted to hurt you? Answer me. Pete, don't believe him. He did do it. Shep knows too. That's why I tried to poison her. Uh, you want I should pile on him here? You don't believe me. Nope. He said the claim didn't pay out, but it did. There's bags full of gold in that cabin. A dozen of them. If that's true, guess you can show us, son. I will. Mm, Come this on. is turning into a parlor mystery. I bet there's going to be three different endings. It's just as bright indoors as out. Faced. There was more. A lot more. He's done something that's been reading Poe a lot. Sorry. You better take these back to Martha. I was holding this, hoping that uh, I'd have a bigger haul by spring. There is more now. A lot more. Shut your hole, Tommy. Green, can't you see he's lying? Mr. Steiner, don't believe me. Please don't believe me. Guess we'd better be going. Please, Mr. Pete. Tommy, don't. You're embarrassing on, me. Son. You'll be hearing from my lawyer, kid. We're talking live. <laughs> Come on, Chip. No way you live, Taylor. Time to die. Lady, come on. Come on. I'm barking like a canary, Taylor. 
never piled on a dog before. There's not a pound that'll hold me, Taylor. Lady, I'll be on. back. Uh -huh. Wild dogs can't be broken. <laughs> You'll never pile on me, old man. The celebration starts early. Hmm. Oh, Mr. Shep, you have a nasty habit of surviving. All right, throw the snossages out nice and easy. Prepare to meet Kali. <laughs> A smart dog took Taylor out of his season, so he's vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait a second. I think Barbasol had an industrial spill. Oh. That's what it is. Come on, dummy. Woof! Could taste the ozone on that one. <laughs> okay, the DA is supposed to meet me here. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, that's cold. Oh boy. Oh, my dogs are killing me. Ooh, ah, ooh. This is no place for a convertible. She's taking them up K2, see, because she's a K9. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for squibs, Lassie. Hey, Lassie got down and off for us. Let's see this guy do that. Yeah. Oh, look at all the footprints. They're at a ski resort. Oh. Hey, what are you, Claudine Langer? I know what you're thinking. Did I fire six shots or only five? Well, this film is so poorly made, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you the meaning of ARF. The Fido Sanction. Where beagles dare. <laughs> <laughs> Three years later. Mm. Oh, now she's going to have to be saved by a St. Bernard. Mm. The most tedious game. Ooh. Hey, he's turning into Michael McDonald. Mm. Stashed a bag of cycle two up here somewhere. Wait a minute. Now, what was my plan? I started chasing a rabbit and I forgot what I was doing. She came from somewhere out of the long ago. Da -da -da. Well, it's warm in the foothills. If you're going out to chase a dog today, you might want to take a jacket. <laughs> Looks like a good place to end this little charade. Uh, this is no good. We're on top of the monument. Well, they did a lot of takes there. Mm. This is where Holmes met his end at Reichenbach Falls. Oh, yeah, Reichenbach, Texas. No, no, that's Lukenbach, Texas. So it's Lukenbach Falls? It, it, never mind. It's, uh, well, his hair turned gray so gradually I didn't notice it. This is like the end of the shootest. All right, Lassie, make your move. Steady. He's turned into Jonathan. Uh, 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 Ross! Ross, this guy's serious, Ross. Where are you? Check out your left shoe, mister. You stepped in my pee. <laughs> Alex Trebek, no! Hmm? Guns turned into a bomb pop. Oh, some kind of problem? Wait a minute, I've hit absolute zero and I'm still walking around. How'd I do that? <laughs> Snossage, honey? <laughs> now smile for me, golden boy. Slowly I turn, step by step. Well, this was really cheap. They just reversed the film. Oh, what, is he going to run all the way back down now? Hey, wait a minute, aren't they supposed to turn into a big snowball when they fall like that, <laughs> like you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, for the want of a frisbee. <laughs> Friends? 
Nice porch. Never let a dog sense your fear. Offer him your hand. Oh, he's offering some prime butt to bite. <laughs> This is one tough ski can. He's in Camelot. Merlin, Merlin, turn me into a bird so I may fly from here. Wait a minute, Lassie started a forest fire? Plans get more elaborate all the time. Wow, and he's turned all the way into Lon Chaney Jr. <laughs> oh, perfect, this fits right into my day. Wait a minute, all I have to do is hang glide down and have a cool Canadian club. Shep, is this supposed to be poetic justice? I don't do poetic justice. No, no, Shep. I swear it was an accident. No. I didn't do it. Guys, no, this couldn't be lame. No, no. Don't do it. I mean, don't do it, the dog should make his brain explode. Scanner dog. Ooh. That I would buy. That'd be cool. Please, Shep. Please. Please. Grizzly <laughs> Adams. Hmm. Guns loose now, thanks! License revoked. We should have tried the Bunny Hill first. <laughs> Gotta laugh. Poor bastard. Well, gotta do my business. Hmm. Thought I'd feel good, but I feel kinda empty. Uh, folks, folks, I had to do it. He killed my best friend and he poisoned me. I can't testify in court, I'm a dog. Actually, I accomplished quite a bit today. Oh, look, they're inside one of those shaky snow worlds. Mm -hmm. She's lost, Peach. We'll never find her. We'll keep trying, son. So what exactly does Tommy get out of all this? Hmm? My mouth's bleeding, Bert. Now that I think of it, this doesn't look so good. Let's see, what can I say? Hi, Pile and Pete. Got some snossages? And so the little fellow found the murderous collie. Shit. What's wrong? You've killed again, haven't you? It's all right, Shep. Sure it is. Uh, I didn't do it. Honest. My ears don't wiggle when I'm lying. Uh, the Painted Hills, Blood Quest 2. Some things they don't teach in obedience school. I'm having a personal pants pylon. Look out, Tommy. He's learned the taste of human blood. All that was filmed in Hollywood, and how did they do that? Hollywood? No, like Hollywood to me. Oh, pilot, Pete! Oh, pilot, see, we it was pylon. And our oh. face is red. <laughs> oh, I'm the ass. Wait, one more. Ah, thank you. Had an interesting message. Yeah, that any Fleabag's white hot vendetta should go unchecked until the last man lay bleeding at the bottom of a ravine with a crushed skull. Yeah, that's what I got out of it too, Joel. Well, come on, you guys. Lassie was just doing what she thought was right. <laughs> yeah, well, who died and made that scabby mud judge, jury, and executioner? <laughs> hmm? Well, somebody had to bring that guy to justice. Oh, is, so is that the message, Joel? Uh, take the law into your own hands, even if you drink from a bowl on the floor? No, well, maybe. Yeah, well, I say if that DA and that jerkwater two-horse mining town had any guts, he'd bring that shaggy butcher up on murder one and make sure she never nuzzled another crotch, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, but she saw Taylor murder Jonathan. She was hurt. She had to lash out. Oh, great. So by your code, I accidentally bump my Rottweiler with a screen door. I wake up the next morning with a severed cat head in my bed. Oh, good one, Joel. Face it, Joel. Your precious lassie should be doing consecutive life sentences at the Crowbar Motel. Yep. We got a body. We got a motive. The paw prints and bloodstains put her at the scene of the crime. We got witnesses that saw her threaten him. We got a handful of people who saw her slip her tether and go after him. That cur is gonna fry, Joel. Fry. 
What about a murder weapon? Her own devious mind. No deals on this one, Robinson. Your client's gonna fall. She's gonna fall hard. Oh, yeah? Well, there ain't gonna be any deal this time. You're going to the mat on this one. Listen, let me tell you, you got nothing. You got nothing and you're scared. Well, you're just blowing smoke up. Listen, I'm not going to get sucked into this with you guys. Listen, uh, Lassie is an animal and therefore not subject to the same moral or ethical code that human beings are. Otherwise, they'd all be arrested for public nudity. Huh. Got a point. Yeah, makes sense. Yep. What do you think, sirs? I'm going to bed. Frank! 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 Frank, no! Hi, Joel. Uh, Frank's dead again. <laughs> Well, I gotta go out and buy him a new heart now. Like there's not enough I gotta do around here. Ooh. I'm coming, jeez! <sighs> <sighs>